Oh my goodness. Welcome everyone. It has been a while since I've done a video. Life happens and well, that's what happened to me. Life happened and um, a little bit of reevaluation um, of, of things as well for me, but um, that's for another video. This video, we are going to make a Dollar Tree uh, Valentine's Day wreath using this small 12 or 14 inch greenery uh, frame from the Dollar Tree, as well as this larger one. I believe this one was like a 16 or an 18 inch is what the tag was marked. But we know that they're super thin and um, and just so sparse when it comes to the greenery. So I am simply going to use four rolls of the Dollar Tree deco mesh that's out there. And I'm going to be using some of these um, greenery garlands. Four of them are going to remain whole and then the others are going to be cut in half. And then I found this cute little wooden love um, sign as well. So everything is pretty small in, in dimension. So it all fits great together. So to start off, I'm simply going to take the smaller of the rings and I'm going to push everything into the middle of it. And then I'm going to place that smaller ring inside the bigger greenery uh, wreath ring. And I'm going to use the longer um, greenery ties to secure both of those wreaths together. So in essence, I'm trying to form one bigger wreath that's a little bit fuller um, using these two small ones and the greenery ties will attach them but still hide that they're attached. So that's where I'm going with this. Okay, so now that we have both of the rings uh, attached using the greenery ties, um, and I went ahead and fluffed out the wreaths as much as I could, I'm going to set the wreath aside and I'm going to take my mesh and I'm going to cut, I'm not sure how many pieces I ended up cutting, but I'm going to cut them at eight inches in length um, and I only have scissors I don't have a rotary cutter so if you have a rotary cutter go for it um, but I'm going to cut them at eight inches in length and um, yeah I'm just going to do that for the white and for the fuchsia or the pink um, and um, and then I'm just going to do simple you know like a curl technique adding two pieces of the pink, one piece of the white, and doing a little bundle, and then adding that to the wreath using the greenery, the half cut greeneries as my like pipe cleaners or, or instead of like pipe cleaners or zip ties. So we will just continue through this process. Again, I'm just going to cut a random number of, um, of pieces of both of the colors. Um, you can definitely layer them on top of each other and cut them that way. I think if you have a rotary cutter, it's probably easier to do it that way. Um, with scissors, I'm not sure if it's the best. Obviously, I'm not looking for exact measurements um, 
on this particular wreath. If I was doing something custom for someone, um, I would definitely be more focused on exact measurements and, and things like that. So um, yeah, do what works best for you though. So now that I have um, a number of pieces for each color cut, I am simply going to take, like I said, I'm just going to do a pattern where I'll do um, maybe like a white. And again, I'm not doing a true curl. I'm doing more like an angled curl and it just gives you a little bit different of a, of a look than just a curl. I'm just, it, it, it elongates the, the piece of, um, of mesh that I cut. So anyways, I'm going to take um, two of the pink and one of the white. Originally, I was thinking I was only going to do two. So one of each color. And then I started thinking, you know, we probably want it to be just a little bit fuller. Um, it, this is not going to be a truly full wreath and you could do so much more. Um, this is just really the minimal that I did. Um, but, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I started my bundles with doing two whites and one pink. So anyways, I'm going to take another white here. I'm going to add three pieces of the deco mesh. You can do whatever color combination you want. Um, and I'm going to just squeeze them together. Then I'm going to take half of the uh, greenery tie that I had cut. And um, I'm so sorry that it's not in camera focus. I changed to the angle of my camera. And of course, um, this was the first video that I did with that new angle. And now I know to correct it. But anyways, so I created just a little bundle with the tie. And then I'm going to take the tie and I'm simply adding it to the um, the wreath form um, that I created and that's how it looks. So I am simply going to continue that same process until I feel I have enough on my wreath. Um, and then I'll move on to the next step, which would really be the final step as well, which is adding the little sign um, that I have for the wreath.
Okay, so now I've filled the wreath um, up as much as I guess I want to at this point. Again, you can add so much more. Um, I want to get an idea of where the sign's going to go. I'm going to add it to the bottom um, just because it is a small sign. So one, I don't think it'll look good in the middle. And two, I don't think it, um, it fits right on the top of the mesh that's there already. So I'm going to literally take the wreath take my wire. Again, I got this wire from the Dollar Tree as well. So everything from this video is from the Dollar Tree. Um, so like I said, I still have a number of, um, oh, I'm sorry, I still have mesh left on the um, roll so I could have easily added more bundles to this wreath um, and made it look much, much fuller. Um, I like the idea that I was able to use the greenery so that I didn't have to just use a regular wreath form. So you can mix in a little bit. You can add flowers. You can add any other embellishments that you want to make this look different and unique to your liking. Um, so here I'm simply just going to try to thread the wire through so that I could um, attach the sign the love sign to the wreath um, without having to use hot glue, which we know sometimes is just not the best option. Um, but sometimes it's the only option, right? So anyways, um, I was able to figure out how to use um, the wire and use the little wooden frame the way that it was. I'm just going crazy looking for my wire cutters here. And it was, they were inside a the mesh roll. But anyways, um, I'm able to get the wire on to the back of the little picture. Then I add the picture to the frame. I add uh, two more bundles of deco mesh, one on each side, just to fill the sides of where the sign goes. And then the final reveal of the wreath. Okay, I'm doing the final fluff and my project is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you enjoyed it enough, please share it with your friends, family, and whomever may enjoy it as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.